Keeping up with our motto, let learning be a joy and teaching a pleasure, here we are with a remote teaching and learning process to bridge the gap. Happy learning students! Good morning students! I hope that all of you are fine today. And here's your teacher, Inasia D'Souza from Takur Vidya Mandir High School and Junior College with yet another lesson in English entitled Abdul Becomes a Courtier Part 1. First and foremost, let us try to understand who a courtier is. A courtier is a person who works in the court of a king in a respectable position. Just as Ab Akbar had his Navratnas. So his Navratnas were courtiers and that's what our hero of the lesson Abdul wanted to become. Father, who is a schoolmaster, is getting ready to go to school. Abdul, father, to knowledge and erudition, I aspire. To study hard and deep books I require. Will you lend me a little gold? Here we have Abdul who has one dream and that dream is to become a courtier as all of you know and in order to become a courtier he needs to study a lot and therefore he wants his father to lend him some gold so that he can study and fulfill his dream. Here the word erudition refers to acquiring knowledge and aspire means trying to so to heights of greatness. Books are by and study to rise high in the world. Father, only the first half of the month has passed, but alas, the money doesn't last. Great books and manuscripts are so expensive. Their treasures rare and exclusive. But from my school, I will try to borrow books that will take you to a brighter tomorrow. Now, dear children, his father worked as a schoolmaster and did not earn a great salary and therefore he could not afford the costly books and decided to go to his school library and borrow the books so that he could secure his child's future. Manuscript scripts here refer to documents that are written by hand and exclusive here refers to excluded or restricted. Abdul, that will be great. How eagerly I, oh, I wait. In the evening when father returns, Abdul, how many books could you get? Oh, now my life will be all set. Father, I am so sorry, son. Couldn't lay my hands on even one. Yo, we see that Abdul had great expectations. Eagerly means with great anticipation. He was anxiously waiting for the books when his father came home back from work in the evening. And do, how many books do you think his father could get him? At least maybe one or two or three. But unfortunately, his father could not even get him a single book. And what was Abdul thinking? If my father gets me the books, then my life will be set. Will be all set means it will be fantastic. But poor little father was feeling so sorry because he could not even get a single book for his son in spite of being a teacher. Sad, isn't it? Chorus Poor Abdul is sad and dejected. 
ponders why my wishes are thus rejected continues to do his daily chores reads borrowed books in tens and scores an idea then crosses his mind to serve the rich and get paid in kind all of up those hopes are dashed to the ground and therefore he feels dejected dejected means sad and depressed ponders means he thinks why have my wishes been rejected what did i do to merit this and therefore he continues he to do his daily work and borrows books from his friends in tens and scores that means in large quantities whatever he can lay his hands on he tries to get and then an idea crosses his mind he then thinks what should i do let me serve the rich and let me be paid in kind means let me be able to get to read books from their library abdul approaches a rich merchant abdul i am a poor student give me a chance to serve observe my work pay only what i deserve merchant you appear to be smart be my clerk i'll pay you well if honestly you work some days pass the merchant calls abdul now we realize that abdul seeks the help of a merchant in order to fulfill his dream he tells the merchant i'm very poor so please give me an opportunity to work for you look at my work and then decide to pay me accordingly as i look at you children i feel that you deserve the best and therefore we try to do our best for you and i hope you are going to live up to our expectations now let us see whether abdul was able to live up to the expectations of the merchant the merchant decided to appoint abdul as a clerk a clerk is a person who does the work of administration like keeping records or posting letters and drafting correspondence now he was also promised a handsome pay if he worked honestly let us see what happens to abdul next merchant i am pleased with your work and loving care you are indeed a gem quite rare i'll give you a reward if your demand is fair abdul excited may i now read the books in your store quench my thirst for knowledge i need nothing more what was abdul's desire to become a courtier and therefore he wanted to learn as much as he could because he would have to advise the king on important matters and therefore the first person whom he pleased was the merchant who referred to him as a gem a gem is a stone of high value a very precious stone so he called abdul a gem and decided to reward him if he made a just demand and what was abdul's demand nothing other than wanting to read the books in the library of the merchant chorus days passed by he learned and learned gaining knowledge for which he yearned philosophy astronomy arabic and persian abdul the scholar is now one in a million will he come to the emperor's notice will he be given an honorable office and as we see here abdul has been able to gain a lot of knowledge and 
he is very close to letting his dreams come true. Do you think that after learning different subjects like astronomy, philosophy, Arabic and Persian, he will be able to win the king's favour? Let us see. Friend, news for you, Abdul. The emperor has answered your prayer. The royal Murgi Khana is now under your care. Abdul, what? The Murgi Khana for me? A scholar? Intellectual? Sagacious? Astute? Made a poultry keeper? Never mind. The chance I won't refuse. It's an opportunity I'll put to good use. Abul's friend comes running and tells him that he has been appointed as the royal Murgi Khana, that is the royal keeper of the palace hens. And was Abdul pleased with this? No, because he felt that an intellectual, learned person like him was now reduced to the state of a poultry keeper. But do you think he refused the chance? Not at all. On the contrary, he accepted the challenge and decided to show his best or do his best. Sagacious refers to a wise person and astute Rear refers to intelligence. Now here are a few lessons for you that you could have learned from the story. What are they? 1. We should always strive for success. 2. The road to success is not easy but at the same time not impossible. 3. Fortune favours the brave. 4. Make the most of what you have. 5. It is not the result but the struggle that matters. 6. The road to success has many bends and turns. Now I would like you to write down the summary of the story so far. What did Abdul want to become? How did he work towards his goal? Which languages did Abdul learn? What qualities did Abdul possess? What did the merchant offer Abdul? What do you want to become? Why? Dear children, I hope you have enjoyed the lesson so far. So till we meet again, I would like to thank you and I would like you to remember that every time you say thank you, you experience nothing less than heaven on earth. These are the words of Sarah Van Pretnach and I hope you have a lovely day. Take care. Be safe and be healthy.